Hey guys, this is Zavin from DNC. Now, for those of you, if you are using Contact Form 7 plugins to build your Contact Form in your WordPress website and thinking of how you can actually add a drop down option in your Contact Form. In this video, I'll be sharing with you how you can create a drop down option, a drop down menu easily using a Contact Form 7. So let's go into my step by step sharing. This is a demo contact form, right? So currently I'm using my website um, to show you guys. Yeah? So the very basic contact form that we'll be looking at, um, you know, the default version, you will have um, the name, your email, subject, and also your message, right? However, for those of you, if you are thinking to have like a drop down selection, for your customers, right? Uh, when the moments that they are using the contact form, you would like them to give you extra information. How do we do that, right? So um, as an example, this is how it's going to look like, all right? So same thing, you still have all the default and then over right here, we will have a drop down section. So the drop downs over right here, you can preset the information that you want, yeah? And the form design, it will base on your WordPress team. So currently, I'm using a different team so that you'll be able to see, you know, uh, the design of my website to present the drop down. It will be slightly a little bit different as compared to yours. Okay. So um, over right here, let's focus on how to get this, the drop down option out from your contact form seven. All right, so let me just go to my contact form 7. So this is the um, contact form 7, um, the form, yeah? So uh, I'm using contact form 7 as a demo, right? So on the left-hand side, you should be able to see um, this contact plugin right there, right? So right after you have this plugin, yeah? So just go to the form that you would like to edit, right? Over right here, this is what you can see, okay? As default, the form will only display the name, email, subject, and also message, right? However, if you are thinking to add a drop-down option, this is what you do, all right? You need to decide the location of the drop-down first. So having to say that, um, currently, I'm looking at my drop-down option. I want it to show right after my email, okay? So this is where you can just, uh, you know, just give some spacing, enter a little bit, right? So enter it to a, a second line over right here. And usually I will just copy and paste, okay? I will copy the fill on top and then I will paste it at the bottom, right? So to duplicate the line, and the form right there, right? So what I will do, I will just make a copy directly. So I just repeat again. I will just copy, imagine, yeah? So this is the, you know, the original of your form settings, right? So I will actually copy the line, be it is above or below, doesn't matter, okay? I'm just going to just copy it, and then I will just make a spacing, and then I will just paste where I want my location to be, okay? So right here, I will change the subject, this title will be appear over right here, okay? That title will actually appear over right here, yeah? So um, I will just come back and then I will change to your uh, workshop, your preferred workshop, okay? And then over right here, the main thing is right here. We are going to change the field, right? Right now, once I copy and paste, it will actually show it as the email form. Email form is still over right here uh, for people to type in their email, okay? However, uh, we want a drop down, right? So this is what you do, okay? We are going to replace this line, yep. We are going to replace this open bracket email, yep, all the way until the end of the brackets, yeah? So you can see from here, these are all the additional add on the fill that you can actually use, you know, to your contact form. You can either do as drop down, 
you can do a checkbox, you can do a radio button, you can do, you know, a bigger text area, or perhaps you can actually do, you know, like submit a file, upload a file as well. All right, so um, different uh, sections, I mean, different fields, you can actually have a different features. Yeah. So let me just show you how to have a drop down. So right here, click on this drop down menu. And you need to decide whether you are going to use it as required fill or is an optional for your users to submit. Okay, so this is if let's say this is a must, the user have to select this option in order for them to submit, you know, before they can click on the submit button, then you check on this box. Okay, required fill. And right here, the name, usually I will rename that um, to something that easy for me. So for example, like your name, your email. So this one, it will be workshop. So I will just type workshop. Okay. Now observe on my screen right now. Right after I click on workshop, okay, if you can see from here, right, this menu dash 948, you should change to reflect the name that I enter over right here. So what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to click on any white space outside the box right here. And when I click the name, it will automatically reflect the word right here, workshop. Okay, ready, yeah? So right now, I'm just going to click on any space outside of the box and you can see right away, immediately these, it will actually reflect over right here. Okay, now second one's the same thing. Right after you type the workshop over right here, okay, you need to uh, preset what is the drop down option. Yeah, you need to preset the drop down option. So, having to say, right now, if let's say my drop down option, the first one I want to put, you know, um, e commerce, then I want to do WordPress, then I want to do social media, and then I want to do uh, search engine optimization all right so i have four options of right there same thing now observe one more time right after i enter i'm just going to click whatever on the right hand side then you can see that you know this um text will be showing right here now one more options uh for you guys to to see right here is right there's this tool check box right here allow multiple selection so meaning that users can select multiple drop down okay multiples of right here or you just want them to select one so one it will be like this option only seo only facebook or you want them to select like if i'm interested in both seo and facebook how right so instead of like i need to submit two times of the form in this form alone i can actually select two together at the same time right so um However, I actually don't recommend you to do that. If you want to allow them to select multiple options, might as well uh, we set up a checkbox. Yeah? A checkbox for the audience instead of drop down. So usually for drop down, it will actually just select as one option. Okay. Now the other one over right here. Currently, if you are looking at my form, okay, once I go into the workshop, right? Uh, the drop down, it will straight away show the first option. Okay. And I need to click under this drop down, then only I can change. However, sometimes you'll be able to see um, some other website, they will be having an empty fill as the first option. Okay, so maybe like it's it just a dash. Okay, so then when I click on that, don't only I will see the first option. Okay, so this will happen over right here. If you see this, insert a blank item as the first option. Yep. So then when I click drop down, my second, as in my WordPress, my e-commerce, social media, then only it will show. Okay, so if you would like to have that, this is what you do. Okay, you can just come here, click on the checkbox, and same things, yeah? I want you to observe the quotes right here. When I click, if you see this, include blank, you will just add into your short codes over right here. Yeah, so this is very, very important. Okay, after you select, make sure that you just copy and paste. Yep, copy and paste your, the, the whole thing right here. After you copy, you can just close this 
And what we are going to do is that we are going to remove this and replace the code that we just copied just now. All right. So that's all. Your contact form, the fill should be ready, right? So just let me do a save, right? Every time you need to save changes, and then I'm going to just um, refresh my page, right? Okay. So if you can see the difference of right here, previous, previous form, right? The first one, straight away, it go in is workshop, okay? And then WordPress, SEO, and so on. The new one that I have over right here, under your preferred workshop, is started with a dash, all right? Only when I click on drop down, then you can see e-commerce, only I can see WordPress, social media, SEO, and so on, right? So this is the difference right here. Uh, when the moments that you are using the contact form 7 and you added in the include blank codes right here. All right. Now, last step, okay? The moment that you are having this drop down option, don't be get, you know, don't get too excited because yes, you already have these options available on your website. However, when the user is selecting the option over right here, and hit on the submit or the send button, you need to ensure that you'll be able to receive the information from your customer. How do you double check on this? Okay, currently over right here, if you go and mouse over to, uh, you know, click on the mail tab, we need to do some other settings right here. All right. So at my mail tab, if you can see currently these sections here, this section, okay, the your name, your email, workshop, your subject, your message. Now, as long as you can spot the difference of the color, one in gray color, the other one in slightly darker, uh, solid black color, it tells you something is wrong right here. Okay, so um, the one that is correct, it should be showing as light gray. Okay, so if you see light gray, it means that all this setting is all good. Nothing's wrong. All right, everything is perfect. However, if you see a solid black color, it means that these settings yet to be set up. All right, it's not yet, you know, the, the form is not 100% ready yet. So what does it mean over right here? If you check on the message body, this is when the moment a user fill up the form, okay, a copy of this information will be sent to your email, right? However, currently it shows right here. In your email, you will only receive name, email, subject, and message body. You are missing the information of workshop. Even the customer has submitted, right? The customer has selected the drop down option. However, in your, you know, in your this uh, email, you won't see this information being captured. All right, so how do we solve these problems right here? You need to ensure that you add in the information, the code right here. All right, so usually what I will do is that you can just, you know, give a titles of what titles that you prefer. And right here, you need to copy and paste this code. Yep, so how it works right here, if the user go, um, go to your website, select, e-commerce when the moment you receive the email it will show workshop and then e-commerce all right so the information that being input by the user it will be reflected right here in the email so whatever that is showing the open brackets it tells you that that will be your customer input okay the customer input in your contact form 7 right now observe one more time Right after I click on save changes, right? I want you to see this color. All right. So one, two, go. When I hit on save changes, you can see that currently these, you know, workshop, it has changed to light gray. So meaning to say right now you can, you know, you can just go ahead. Your contact form is ready and you can just send um, a test. Yep, send a test. Usually, I will test it myself. I will enter my name. I will enter my email address. I will select every single field of right here. 
click on submit and double check in my email if I will be able to see all the setting and all the information that being input by me. Yeah, so that's where I will actually uh you know ensure that the form is ready before I start promoting to my clients, my customer, before I make it live to my customer as well. Alright, so that's all in this video that I would like to share with you how you can actually add a drop down menu in your contact form 7. So if you like this video, you can help us to like and share. And if you are successfully, you know, get your drop down menu, drop down option in your contact form 7, remember to leave a comment below and let me know. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, remember to leave your comment below, help us like and share. If you are yet to subscribe to our YouTube channel, remember to click on the subscribe button and most importantly, hit on the bell icon so that you'll be able to receive notifications when we launch our new video. See you in the next video.